I think that those of you that know me uh, know that I've always spoken honestly <clears throat> and straightforward to you. I intend to do so today. I'll run through the flight plan very briefly, uh, factually, <coughs> and when we get to questions, I will honestly try and answer any questions you have to ask. If I can't answer them, if I don't answer them, it's because I don't know the answer or we don't have the data yet uh, to fully answer them, and they will be answered at a later date. But I was not uh, real overly tired. I was warm from the uh, re-entry and having been on the water uh, for a short period of time. But uh, I might add, not any warmer than I am right now. <laughs> this is a new and strange environment at first, this suddenly finding yourself in orbit. And want to take a few seconds' time to uh, think about this and, uh, and see just what you're doing up here. It takes you a few minutes to really settle down. Uh, the added distraction is that you, there is the Earth uh, in view out of the window. It is a tremendous distraction. You want to glue your eyes on the window and watch every little detail of everything that's going on there. But the many hours of training in the simulators that we have seem to take over and you uh, get right back on the flight plan and follow them pretty closely there and do the functions that you have planned on doing at the proper time. Each flight, each man had observations to make that we could never have forecast, or he saw things that no one knew for sure that he would be able to see or wouldn't be able to see, or things that were completely unexpected. And these have contributed tremendously to the advancement of manned space flight. In fact, to the advancement of science as a whole. We feel as a pilot group, that pilots are an integral part of space flight. I think that Mercury has shown that man is adaptable to this new and strange environment, and he can contribute immeasurably to their liability and the completion of space flights. The pilot has successfully completed three out of four orbital flights that an automatic system would not have. We have had 100% success on our manned flights. I think that we can hold Mercury up and say that it has been a real good example of a program that has run surprisingly close to its schedule. And I think at this point I'll uh, lay it open to questions. This uh, flight of yours is almost a routine ride. Were you at all impressed with this mission? And at any time were you at all concerned for your personal safety? Well, I've waited quite a long while for this flight, and I was very impressed with it. I think anybody that goes up on a space flight and says they aren't impressed, there must be something wrong with them. I named my spacecraft Faith 7 for three reasons. One, because of a belief in God and country. Two, because of a loyalty to organization the two organizations, actually, which I belong, and three, because of a confidence in the entire space team. 